Welcome to Popcorn Chat Special Edition. I'm Kurt Jarvis. What I'm going to do is just run down my thoughts on uh, the Oscars, uh, the, the Academy Awards last night. And my first overall reaction is I thought it was a good award show as far as the awards that were given. The show itself I thought dragged in a few places. Billy Crystal was obviously a little rusty, but... Uh, uh, you know, it's it's good to have Billy Crystal back. I still think a rusty Billy Crystal is better than, you know, a uh, 100% James Franco. But that's just me. So, <clears throat> overall, I think the show had, had its moments. I mean, I don't know who was in charge of their their microphones, but, man, they had some serious feedback problems. And it's a, that's a big award show, so that was surprising. But, anyway, getting to the important part is... The important part is the awards itself. Um... The only two things that really surprised me, and, and I use surprised in, in quotes because it's not over shocking to me. Um, the first one was Best Actor. Uh, not that uh, Dion Jean didn't deserve to win for The Artist. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I think he did a, a great job, and he was my second choice. Um, I'm just surprised George Clooney didn't win it, and I'll tell you why. You know, part of this is politics. We all know that. All these award shows are part of politics. And George Clooney is a very popular actor not only among fans but among other actors the academy seems to like him they always find a reason to get him at the show because he is a good presenter he's a good uh, facilitator he rah rahs the show and that sort of thing so i really thought this would be his year um the talent pull between you know dergine and 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 clooney it kind of stopped there if you want my opinion i i thought some of the other ones weren't, weren't as strong so i was like this would be a good year to give it to him um, when I thought he should have won for Michael Clayton a few years ago, but but that's beside the point. And and they didn't give it to him, so I was a little bit surprised on that one, uh, but not not disappointed. I wouldn't call it a disappointment at all um, because the artist is, is a great movie. The only second thing is, speaking of the artist, um, I, I really thought that Hugo was primed to just have a big night. They kept winning all these technical awards, and I didn't think that you know from a technical standpoint that it was the best technical movie. Uh, of the year. A matter of fact, I thought some of the better special effects were seen in the Harry Potter movies. Uh, the cinematography, I thought, should have gone to Tree of Life. As a matter of fact, I thought that's the only award Tree of Life should have won because the cinematography was just unbelievable in that movie. But they started piling on these awards. I'm sitting there thinking, okay, well, it's just going to sit back and they're going to just inundate Martin Scorsese with a lot of these awards and he's finally going to get the big night that I thought he's deserved, even though he's deserved to win Oscars since the 70s. Um... But they didn't. They they sort of said, okay, Hugo looked pretty, but now the actual substance of the movie goes over to the artist. So that had to be... Fr it was just frustrating for me to watch Martin Scorsese be, you know, put on that good face that he's put on so many times when you know he had to be seething like, man, this is happening again. Um, and, and I just felt sorry for him. I'm not taking away from the artist. I'm really not. I, I think the artist is a very, very fun film. And I'm, I'm actually happy it was made. Um... You know, and I'm actually also have that a lot of people have seen it going into uh, going into the award show last night. I, I know very few people who haven't seen it, um, and, and, and the reason why is because of all the buzz it's getting. In fact, I would call it between the help and the artist. I think those were the two most popular movies uh, of the show last night, and maybe the Girl of the Dragons had too. A lot of people have seen that, uh, but it wasn't up for a lot of awards. But I I really feel strongly that the artist was well deserving of Best Picture. Um, if Hugo would have won, I, I mean, I was kind of cheering for Hugo, but really it, it didn't matter. I think Hugo and the artist uh, are almost the same movie as far as, as brilliance goes. Uh, they're just done in different ways, but they have the same thematic scheme in that it's all about how movies used to be. Um, and that's a fun way of, of showing America the history of film and, and the history of cinema. One, one of my favorite categories of the night was Best Actress. And I also want to give a kudos shout out to Colin Firth, who was the presenter of Best Actress. I think Colin Firth did a great job of giving some heartfelt um, you know, speeches about each actress that was up for Best Actress because they were all deserving. To me, that was the best category of the night. Any of them could have won, and I would not have been upset because they all deserved it. And for the same reason that George Clooney, you know, I thought was going to win, Meryl Streep did win. The Academy loves her. She did a great job. Now, was it her best acting job? I'm not willing to say that, but it was definitely a top five performance of, of last year, so I'm, I, I can't be upset with the fact that they picked her. And, you know, the fact that she was all like, really, come on, I want this again? I mean, you know, that's fine. I love Meryl Streep, so I have no problem with it. 
Um, it, it's disheartening to see Glenn Close win, you know, get nominated so many times and never win one. I think Glenn Close is brilliant. Um, Rooney Mara, I don't think we've seen the last of her. And I, I thought she, in my opinion, did the best acting job out of the five if I had to get it down to brass tacks. But I don't think we've seen the last of her. And, of course, you know my love for Michelle Williams and, and for My Week with Marilyn and Olivia Davis for the help. Everybody in the help did a, a great job. So um, it's just one of those things. To me, that was the strongest category of the night. Didn't upset me that Meryl won. Not surprising that she won at all. Um, it's just uh, it's one of those things. And going down the list of, um, you know, the other, the other thing I was really, really happy about was to see Christopher Plummer win for Best Supporting Actor in Beginners. You have to see this movie. It is a great movie. It's a totally different concept on some uh, of a movie. It stars Ewan McGregor, and like the artist, it has a dog in it, which I thought was another kind of interesting theme, how a lot of these movies are interwoven together this year. Um, but the dog actually speaks silently. He just stands there and they subtitle what he's thinking and Ewan McGregor knows what he's thinking. Um, and it's a great movie. Um, but basically Ewan McGregor figures out that his father, played by Christopher Plummer, has been, is gay. And he has to deal with that on the death of his mother. And you basically learn that his mother knew that he was gay, but they just wanted to have a family. So this is the direction they went. And, uh, it's a great movie. I mean, I was very, very surprised when I saw it. And it's not over dramatic at all. As a matter of fact, it's more funny. It, they, they use comedy to get you through the, the scenes. Uh, and I was thrilled to see Christopher Plummer win that. I picked him to win it. I'm glad he won it. He deserved to win it. Um, the oldest Oscar uh, winner in history at 82 years old. And, of course, the Oscars is 84 years old. So <laughs> that should tell you how long it's been uh, that he's seen so many winners up there. But I love Christopher Plummer. I'm a big fan of Christopher Plummer. Uh, now, if we can get Albert Finney to win one, I would really be happy. But that's all I have. Uh, come back later in the week, and I'll give you my normal uh, popcorn chat critiques. Uh, until next time, I might see you at the movies.